about that it's in factored form is if they're asking you to find the zeros, which remember the zeros are the x-intercepts, they're also when the function f of x is equal to 0. So it's the values of x that make, that make f of x equal to 0. So if I was going to find the zeros, Um, what's nice about it when it's in factored form is there's no other information that I need to do. That's your pass? Yeah. You need to go and get a pass from her. Huh? OK, I'll call. So when we have 7 times x minus 3 squared times x plus 4 to the fourth. Um, so basically, to go ahead and solve this, basically, we want to set up each and every factor. If you guys remember, the zero product property, OK? If we're going to go ahead and set up the zero product property, oh, I'm sorry, that's or, then we just multiply each and every factor. Notice how 7 is not a factor. We can easily just divide 7 out. So we have 0 equals x minus 3 squared times x plus 4 to the fourth. Please note, all the multiplicity is is the power of your factors. That's what it is. Now we relate to the power of the factors once we go ahead and solve. So now I use the zero product property, and then x plus 4 raised to the fourth equals 0. Now to go ahead and solve, I take the square root of both sides. To undo the fourth root, I take the fourth root of both sides, and I have x minus 3 equals 0 x plus 4 equals 0. Add 3, add 3, minus 4, minus 4. x equals 3, or x equals negative 4. Now, since I was able to determine the multiplicity, I say the multiplicity is equal to 2. Multiplicity is equal to 4. But in reality, we don't really care what number the actual value of the multiplicity, we really just care, is it even or is it odd? And the reason why if it's even or odd is important because if I was going to graph this, which they tell you to do, right? They ask you to sketch the graph. So in this case, I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have two zeros. Yes? Which change what number? In the original one, it's supposed to be a 5. Oh, up here? Yeah. Oh, for your homework? OK, sorry. Oh. So then it's just minus 5. Yeah. Um, so if I was going to graph this, we would need to go ahead and determine the multiple. Did I tell you guys how to do M behavior when you have a product in factored form? We went over this? Yeah. So if we were to expand this, this expanded would be x to the fourth, right? This expanded would be x squared. If you were to multiply those two, you'd have x to the sixth. Right? And then we look at what the com what we look at the coefficient would be. Well, it would be 7 times 1 that the positive, right? So I know the graph has to rise left, rise right, because it has an even degree and it would have a positive leading coefficient. Positive leading coefficient, even degree, rise left, rise right, the informal way. So all they're asking you to basically do, oh, well, that would make rise left, rise right. Well, that one becomes 2. Oh, OK. I, I got it. So remember, if, it, if it's even, what the M behavior tells you is that it bounces. Well, if my M behavior starts from here, it's going to go here. It has to bounce. Bounce. So it would look like that. How did I get what? Well, I know that it had to rise left, and it had to rise right. So I started from the left. I know that it had to bounce. Do you understand why I had to bounce? All right, first of all, do you understand why I wrote that arrow there? You can say no. The M behavior. If you were to multiply this polynomial out, you would have this. 
when you have an even degree, if you guys remember, go back to your notes, remember M behavior. M behavior, right here. Even degree, positive leading coefficient. The arrows look like this. OK? Then do you know why I'm either going the u up or the u down? No, because the multiplicity is even. If it's even, where it's a 0, it bounces. That means it touches it and rebounds. So it either touches and rebounds it up, or it's from the bottom. Well, obviously, we're, we're coming from the top, so we can't go below. So I don't even need these. So anytime it's even, it bounces. That's why I did those two little red u's. It touches the 0 and bounces back up. Well, when I go and bounce, I don't know how high it is. It could have gone like this. I don't really know. All right. I'm just, get, I'm just estimating, sketching the graph for you. I'm not being exact. I'm sketching the graph for you. But then it has to go back and bounce this one. So it bounces and then goes back up. OK? What? How is it what? 